Okay guys, I got a mission. A mission so intense that I need my ghillie suit for it. We're going on a sniper mission guys. We got targets and we got take them out. Except a whole lot lower scale than snipers. So here's the mission. There's a field down there and it's just been cut for hay, alright? And there's some starlings that are sitting in the field and it's also raining, alright? So all the night crawlers and worms and bugs that were buried down, they're actually floating up to the top and it's easy to get to for the birds. So there's like 30 starlings down there in my field sitting there eating the bugs. And they're, they're easy targets, as I think. Probably not. My weapon of choice today is again the 22 Marlin. I would be using an air gun when y'all sit in the mail, but again, I feel like I need a little bit more range than I'm gonna get with air gun with iron sights and no stock. But anyways, let's get on down closer to our targets. That way we can scout them out and know exactly what we're going for. The more you know, the better off you are. So this morning whenever I saw them, they was all right here. Obviously right now, they're not right here. And I'm looking across the field, and I really don't know where they go. But like I'm saying, here's one bird right here on the top of this hay bale. It's actually a dove though, and I don't want to shoot a dove. And for you guys who don't know, starlings are actually legal to shoot. Not illegal, but legal, which means you can without breaking the law. This is because they're not native to the United States, along with sparrows are the same way you can shoot them, and they are also not native to the United States. So basically today, if I either see a sparrow or a starling, I'm gonna shoot at both of them because they're both legal and they both are not, you know, supposed to be in the United States. If you're not exactly sure which either one of them looks like, this right here, this is a starling. It's the blackbirds that you'll see in a lot of cities, but I honestly don't see many out here in the middle of nowhere. But this right here is a sparrow. I see quite a bit of these, and I'm sure you guys do too, in parking lots and stuff, eating chips under buggies or something like that. I don't know. There's just a bunch of birds in general in the city. They're just, they're not afraid of anything, I guess. Now, these birds out here in Kentucky, they're smart. They'll be, they'll be sitting in a field. They'll say, hey, here comes a little boy in the mew. Let's get out of here. Then they, they go on. But anyways, I am gonna drive around till I see one because I believe I might just see one right there. To be honest guys, a good thing for me to be doing is probably put some ammo in here because it's pretty hard to kill a bird with a gun without some bullets. Bullets I'm using are just these CCI mini mags. These are about the most quality ammo you can find. I'm not even kidding. I'm not sponsored at all. I wish I was, but I'm not. CCI, if you're watching this, go ahead and hit me up. My email's in the description. There's a bird just landed. I'm gonna look at him through my scope and see what species he is. He may not be a shooter. Nope. He's a robin. Robins are highly illegal. Oh, oh my god. What in the world? Did you guys... You guys didn't see that. They was one about hit me in the head. I ain't even lying. He's a robin though, so I still can't shoot it. Okay guys, we got one spotted right there on the power line. Now I know power line is sort of a risky shot, but I'm gonna hold literally as high as I possibly can. That way there's no... That way, you know, there's just no way I can... Well, I guess I'm not shooting that one at all. Sparrow, sparrow. I missed it. One shot, zero kills. We're going to have to work on that, but the day is not over either. Okay guys, I finally found some of the starlings I was after this morning. See them there? I believe, yeah, those are both starlings. I w what my plan was, was okay, so I'm here. I'm here in the mule. I was gonna sneak all the way up to that hay bale, then just peek out last moment and pop him. That'd be a good idea. If there weren't people standing on that porch over there and they wouldn't know what to think. Seeing a guy in full ghillie suit sneak up to a bush, pop out and shoot a bird right in front of them, like legit 50 yards in front of their house. They're just trying to eat breakfast. As for right now, I'm just gonna sit here and wait because it seems like more keep coming in every every minute. Even another one falls down into the into the little pile. So I'm just gonna wait here. Maybe they'll get done eating breakfast. They're going on in the house. But listen, if it comes down to time I need to shoot one, I don't think they're gonna care anyhow. I'm just gonna walk up and pop him. There is one thing for sure. I ain't gonna be able to drive this mule. I'm gonna have to get off and walk and be as stealthy as possible. That's what I'm gonna have to do today to get one of these birds. Cause they're not easy, I'll tell you that right now. Oh my gosh. They just flew, they just flew. They went up in that big tree right there. And I sure can't shoot that. If I miss, it's gonna go right there over there and hit them in like their brain or something. Forget bird hunting. Picking blackberries is a whole lot easier, my friends. 
And it tastes a whole lot better too. Now my last video whenever I pick blackberries, a lot of y'all said those aren't blackberries. Those are black raspberries. But no, these are blackberries because they're shiny and the core stays inside the berry. On a black raspberry, it'll, it won't be shiny, it'll be kind of dull. And whenever you pull it off, they'll be, you know, inside of the core of the fruit, it'll stay with the limb. With a blackberry, it comes with the fruit. And you just eat it like that. A lot of you also said, boy, them blackberries are going to give you the runs. <laughs> well, I mean, shoot far. They probably will, but this is free food. You can't let it go to waste. I don't work like that. Guys, tell me in the comments if you guys like blackberries. To be honest, I don't love them at all. But like I said, they are free, so I'm going to eat them. <laughs> but you guys tell me in the comments, do you guys like blackberries? Or do you like blackberry pie or blackberry dumplings or something's blackberry cobbler? Is, I don't know. Tell me what you like, guys. Do you like blackberries or not? I don't like much about blackberries, except that they're free, and I can sort of bear the taste of them when they're on the this. But whenever they're in dumplings or pie, I don't really like them then, but... Like this, they're pretty good. Guys, there's a sparrow right over there. Sparrows are like legit. They're like that big. So you, I can't zoom in and show y'all. So I'm just going to have to go like this. Because there's no way I could even zoom in y'all. If I wanted to. There he is, there he is. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Did you guys just see that? There was a sparrow sitting on that branch, so you know, I guess it sort of missed it a little bit. See that right there? How it's like a broken branch? Well, I believe, yeah, that's exactly what I hit, and that whole branch just fell. That's, that's, uh, that shows you how strong a little 22 is, because that's a pretty big branch, too. That's every bit of that big around, that just snapped it. Okay, guys, now I know this outro is pretty weird, but I'm sitting here editing this video. And somewhere, my actual outro, it got lost. Now here's the notification squad, but I'm not exactly sure what I said in the outro, but I just wanna assure you, the birds I was hunting today, they are not illegal whatsoever. They are highly unnative, if that's a word. But what they're actually doing is they're taking over and they're making it harder and harder for actual native birds like bluebirds and cardinals. They're making it harder for them to live here because they're taking up all the space and all the food. So anyways, guys, I'll see you later. You can watch a few more of these videos for me hunting random things. But anyways, I'll, I'll catch you later sometime.